the best FPS boost guide for Fortnite OG. Today, I'll guide you on boosting your FPS and reducing input delay in Fortnite OG. Make these easy adjustments to your PC's window settings and Fortnite's in-game settings. I'm confident you'll see at least a 120 FPS increase. Stay tuned until the end for some bonus internet settings to minimize your ping. Let's begin with your Fortnite in-game settings. Firstly, set your window mode to full screen. This prioritizes your PC's focus on Fortnite, optimizing performance and FPS. It's recommended and mentioned that your game will run smoother this way. Choose a frame cap that matches your best and most stable FPS. For those with a 144Hz monitor, you can cap it slightly higher like 160FPS and so on for different monitors. I personally keep mine at 240 for stability. Now onto rendering mode, go for performance mode. This step is crucial and can make a significant difference. Adjust your graphic settings as you prefer, but ensure your 3D resolution is at 100% and everything else is set to low. In the next tab, scroll down to Building. Turn off Reset Building Choice and disable Pre-Edit option. These two settings, when on, have been shown to increase input delay during building and sometimes need to edit glitches. Moving on to Extra Game Options, ensure that both NVIDIA Highlights and Peripheral Lighting are turned off. NVIDIA Highlights, in particular, saves every kill and win as a 15-second clip, consuming PC resources and affecting performance. Similarly, turn off all replay synths like NVIDIA Highlights, they record games in the background, utilizing both internet and PC power. Make sure energy savings is also turned off. Now, let's go to the second tab. Set your sound quality to low for better performance. If sound is crucial for you, you can keep it at high, but be aware that it may come with a small performance cost. Press the Subtitles Options button and shift everything to the left. In your key binds, scroll down to the MISC tab and locate Switch Quick Bar. Bind this to a key that you don't use while playing on your keyboard. This might seem odd, but it has been proven to reduce input delay while building, providing a significant improvement. In your personal settings, turn off player surveys. Apply the settings, but don't close Fortnite just yet. Press Ctrl plus Alt plus Delete while Fortnite is open, and in the Task Manager, choose Details represented by three lines. Look for Fortnite Client Win64 Shipping EXE. Note that this setting only applies to the specific Fortnite file. Right-click it, set the priority to high, confirm the changes, then right-click again and go to Properties. In the Compatibility tab, turn on Disable Full Screen Optimizations, press Change High DPI Settings, check the box to perform scaling by application. Apply these changes. High Priority Mode significantly boosts FPS and the other two settings reduce input delay. Step 3. Background Apps Here's a short but essential step for better performance in any game, whether it's Fortnite or Minecraft. Press your Windows key, click the small arrow, and close or exit any programs you're not using while gaming. These programs, running in the background, can use unnecessary processing power and slightly lower your computer's performance. Make it a habit for a smoother gaming experience. Step 4. Epic Games Launcher Settings To optimize your Epic Games Launcher settings, open the launcher, go to your library, click the three dots next to Fortnite, enter Options, and disable High Resolution Textures and Direct X12 Shaders. If you don't use Save the World, you can disable it as well. The only setting to keep enabled is Disabled Cosmetic Streaming. This setting pre-installs all skins, gun wraps, and items in the game before you load in, enhancing performance. Now click your profile picture at the top right, go into Settings, and copy the settings provided. Pay attention to desktop notifications. These should be turned off to prevent pop-ups that might run in the background while you're playing even if you don't see them. Turning them off contributes to a smoother gaming experience. Apply these changes for optimal performance. Now let's delve into further optimization. Scroll down until you find Fortnite in your Epic Games Launcher. Click the arrow, enable additional command line arguments. A box will appear at the bottom, copy and paste the code provided. This code maximizes your PC's use of internet resources, aiming for the lowest possible ping and a more stable connection. Afterward, go back to your library, click the three dots next to Fortnite, go to Manage and select Verify. This step ensures that there are no corrupted files in your Fortnite game and if any are found, the verification process will fix them. Consider doing this verification once a month for optimal performance. Step 5. High Performance Mode To further enhance performance, right-click on your Windows button and go to Power Options. This tab determines how much power your PC uses. 
opt for the best performance setting to maximize your PC's capabilities. Keep in mind that this may result in your PC running a bit hotter than usual. This step is one of the most efficient ways to optimize your system for better gaming performance. Game Mode and Optimizing Fortnite Files To optimize your settings, open your system settings, go to the Gaming tab, and enter Xbox Game Bar. Ensure that all features of Xbox Game Bar are turned off. Xbox Game Bar runs in the background, recording footage, and can consume significant PC power. Next, press Graphics just below. Confirm it says Desktop App, then press Browse. Navigate to Fortnite by selecting This PC, Program Files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite Game, Binaries, Win64. Choose Fortnite Client Win64 Shipping.exe and press Add. After adding it, press Options, set it to High Performance, and at the top, under Change Default Graphic Settings, enable Hardware Accelerate GPU Scheduling, Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling Link, and Variable Refresh Rate. Optionally, you can also enable the bottom setting if you prefer. These changes help enhance performance while playing Fortnite. Return to the Gaming tab, enter Game Mode, and enable it. Game Mode essentially optimizes your PC for gaming by reducing background processes. In essence, it ensures that your PC prioritizes the game, enhancing overall performance by minimizing distractions from background tasks. Tip 8. Temp and Prefetch Folders To clear unnecessary temporary files on your PC, hold the Windows key and press R simultaneously. In the search box, type percentage sign temp percentage sign and press OK. This will open a folder with various temporary files. Select all files and delete them. If prompted, choose do this for all items and then press skip if necessary. Close the folder. Next, hold the Windows key and press R again, then type prefetch and press OK. Similar to the previous step, delete all files in the folder and skip if prompted. After completing both steps, empty your recycle bin. These files tend to accumulate, so it's a good idea to check and clean these folders every two weeks to maintain optimal performance. Step number 9. Startup Apps Search for startup apps in Windows Search and disable all the apps that you don't need to start when your PC boots up. This is similar to managing background apps as these startup apps run in the background without serving a significant purpose, consuming processing power. By disabling unnecessary startup apps, you can improve your PC's overall performance. Great! Now that you've covered the steps to boost FPS, let's proceed to the next part of the video where we focus on lowering your ping. Step 1. Network Optimizations Begin by searching for Device Manager in your Windows Search. Click the arrow under Network Adapters, locate your internet connection, and select Update Driver. Choose to search automatically for a driver. If you don't receive an update, you're good. This is the case 99% of the time. Next, close out and find your internet connection again. Go into its properties, then locate the Power Management tab. Turn off all options here. This step ensures that your internet isn't restricted in performing at its best. Leaving these options on could potentially hinder the speed and stability of your internet connection. Now, navigate to the Advanced tab in your internet connection properties. Scroll down until you find Speed and Duplex. Attempt to set it to the maximum option. If you experience a loss of internet connection, revert it to Auto Negotiation. Press OK and close the settings window. This adjustment aims to optimize your internet speed, but it's crucial to revert the setting if it causes connectivity issues. Step 2. DNS Servers To further optimize your internet connection, begin by searching for Control Panel in the Windows Search. Click on Network and Internet, then select Network and Sharing Center. In the top left corner, find and click on Change Adapter Settings. Right-click on the internet connection you are using, go into its properties, and locate the symbol for Internet Protocol version 4. Click on it and press Properties. In the Properties window, enable Use the following DNS server addresses and enter the following DNS server 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4. These are Google's global DNS server addresses known for their reliability and speed worldwide. Many people, including professionals and Epic Games, have recommended using these DNS servers. If you notice lower ping after this change, you can either search for a DNS server specific to your country or revert to the default settings. Press OK and close out of the windows to apply these changes. 
Now that you've completed all the steps in the video, the final action is to restart your PC to ensure that the changes take full effect. Keep in mind, while this may provide a little improvement, it's not strictly necessary. Before you restart, consider liking the video if these steps were helpful. If you encounter any issues or have questions after restarting, come back to the video and I'll do my best to assist you. Congratulations on learning how to boost your FPS and reduce ping as much as possible.